Hey grillers, Brad here from BB Grill Shack. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Weber Q2000 camping grill. Let's check it out. We decided to get out of town for a few days and come to the beach. We rented a property and they have a Weber Q2000 grill. I've been wanting to try one of these small grills and so this is gonna be the perfect opportunity to review it. Let's get started. Some of the features of this Weber include a cast aluminum body, nylon legs, a couple nylon folding shelves, porcelain covered enamel grate, 12,000 BTUs of heat, and it has a 280 square inch cooking surface. This grill is great for probably four to five people. The Q2000 has a removable grease tray, which makes it easy to remove grease and built up grime and dirt. The Q2000 also has a lighter switch on the left-hand side and a couple utility hangers on the right-hand side. The Weber Q2000 uses disposable size propane cylinders, one pound each. You can also get an adapter to use it with a 20 pound or larger tank. To install the gas cylinder, take a one pound disposable gas cylinder, insert it and twist it on. Go until it's snug, but you don't need to over tighten it. Let's do a five minute heat test and see how hot this thing will get on full blast. So I'm not sure how old this grill is or how long it's been here, but the igniter button didn't work for us. With the lighter, it lit right up. Looks like we got to about 483 on our five minute heat test. That's pretty good. I think it's slightly higher than the charbroil that we tested. So let's try out some chicken wings and see how those turn out. The cast iron grill grate retained a lot of heat and was awesome for leaving a great sear on our chicken wings. After about 15 minutes, we had some crispy wings with a hot and juicy inside. This grill really worked great for wings. I might as well try it out. So overall, this has really good build quality. It seems like it's only three pieces. I think it's two of these big plastic pieces and then the grill itself, which is awesome because it's, uh, it's held together by only eight screws um, and it seems really sturdy. The shelves are pretty sturdy. They look kind of flimsy, but I've put a lot of stuff on them over the last two days and seems like they work out fine to me. Um, they do bend a little bit, but these catches catch a lot of stuff. The cast aluminum body of this grill is awesome. It seems to retain a lot of heat. Uh, the fire itself is a little underwhelming, but with the cast aluminum body, it seems to retain that heat and actually gets pretty hot in there after a few minutes. We were able to sear some burgers. We were able to cook some wings. Overall, great experience. The one pound propane cylinders, uh, they say will last about two hours, but for camping, two hours seems reasonable. Two hours seems reasonable, reasonable. Just bring a few tanks with you, you're good to go. In the 250 price range, it's pretty cheap, especially for this good of build quality. There are a few things that's missing that uh, you know you can get, but don't come with the price. So for example, the adapter hose to use a bigger tank, that would be awesome. 
um, some legs so you don't have to set it as a tabletop would be a great added feature. And you can get those on the side, but you're gonna have to spend extra money for them. Thanks for watching everybody. This is an awesome review. I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these little Webers for a while now, and I'm really excited that I got to try it out. I would recommend this Weber. It's a it's pretty neat little kind of like cheap portable grill. So if you're in that range, if you want something portable, if you have a small patio outside your apartment, something like that, this is a cool grill to check out. Uh, I come out with new videos every Thursday and I would hate for you guys to miss any of them. So go ahead and smash the subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good week.